trashed the internet's it's cat mint beard we're back with more bioshock remastered we are now the big daddy oh she's a healed one it would mean very much to me if you will be gentle with the girl I have no idea what that means. Here we go. My understanding is this is right here the pen ultimate. Stage. And there's also a bug I heard about. Don't want to give a, a whirl. All right. The little ones will lead you to something, but you must protect them. In the sky. Right behind you, kid. I'm right here. I'm right behind you. Are you going to follow? I have to follow you. I'm not. So here's the glitch I heard about. I guess it's fixed. Never mind. I'm here, I'm here, jeez. Oh, it does still work. Look at that. The ballroom is engulfed in flames. Big Daddy with bees. Uh huh. Now here's a question: Do we still set off uh, security, or is security our friend now? I guess security is our friend now. I'm not. I'm right here. Go ahead, get to work. This is why I got all these bees. Me? 
you jeez, you're the one who's half dead. Without me because I apparently messed up. Like, what good is this security camera? Okay, we got this. <laughs> Come on, just try. Just try. Getting the hang of this, I think. Hey. Hurry, Mr. B. I can Why was it attacking her? Dancing in the sky. Are we? Why was it attacking her? Doesn't make sense. That's annoying. Oh man. Uh, Alright, well here's what I'm gonna do. What I feel is the intelligent thing. I'm gonna clear the room before we continue. See, I made a mistake. I thought the turrets would be friendly. That really pisses me off that one of them died. Actually, I'm going to change strategy a little bit. We're going to go with this instead. I think this is going to be more effective. Um, mm, yeah, this is fine. Hopefully there's not too many more. Oh, 
There we go. Hurry, hurry, Mr. Bubbles. What? I'm right here. What? Yeah, follow me around. That's gonna be our friend now. Yeah, this is gonna be our new our new strat. Hurry, hurry, Mr. Bubbles. It's cool there's some giant fish and stuff in here. It's okay. I've got a plan. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm right here. Uh huh. I mean, what? I'm here. I'm actually going in front of you search for turrets and stuff that I thought we're gonna be our friends okay Okay, so my gut says to save. <sighs> hurry, hurry, Mr. Bubbles. I am right behind you. Why is that on fire already? Oh, jeez. Oh. Where is she? Fontaine is nearby. You are reaching close now. There she goes. All right. Oh, nice. Fontaine waits above. There will be no going back from here. Make sure you are ready to face him before moving on. Okay, so I saw some vending machines. There. You must use the needle of the little sister to drain Fontaine of his Adam. It is the only way to defeat him. 
sounds like a good idea. Uh, hey, we got her through though. Check it out. Eh, eh. Uh. Oh man. Anti-personnel rounds for the pistol. How am I doing with that, by the way? I could use some? Okay. I mean, why not use it on the other machines in here? <sighs> That's frustrating. Oh, hey. No. 12 of 12 anti-personal rounds, and that is it. That is some blue shade. Just letting you know. Okay, so now we have enough auto hacks for you, and enough auto hacks for you. Welcome to the of value. Um, we're pretty good on Eve and first aid kits, actually. But I'll I'll top off. Uh, let's get some. Yeah, I don't want to waste any. Uh, I don't even. I mean, it's like I hacked the ammo bandito, but I didn't actually. Oh man. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's fine. That's fine. All right. So let's save. Cause here we go. Alright, so, got some proximity mines, and some of those, you know what, let's just, uh, start with our, you know, I think it might not be the necessarily the greatest plan, but let's just start with this and go from there. Let's do this. I love how it's just called Fontaine. And it's like, hey, this is how you use Eve. <laughs> oh, hey, and the helmet's off. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more uh -huh. than you. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also Kay. the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Actually, uh... Strictly business. Let's do the bees. You live by the bees. You die by the bees. Alright, and this is where it's just gonna load us every time. <laughs> Start with that. Oop. Whoa, hold still, buddy. Or even is he? You are no match for me and my bees. Need a minute. And I'm gonna cut you. Cut 
<laughs> Hot shutdown machine. Uh, I don't need that. I will. I'm looking for this bot shutdown panel. Where's the bot shutdown panel, man? Okay. Whoops. Oh well, screw it. Whoa, where are you, bud? <laughs> All right, so I think you can kind of figure out from here what the general strat is. Whoa. Hey, I'm busy. Get out of here. Oh shit, that's not even the right guy. Come on. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. Is that it? I had you built. I sent you topside. Mm -hmm. Called you back, showed you what you was, what mm -hmm. you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had uh -huh. was something I dreamed up. Uh -huh. I tattooed inside your head. Now if you don't call that family, I know what is. And now, Yep. <laughs> so I guess it was a good idea that I went ahead and upped my uh, first aid kits. Wow. Wow, and they're still going. They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. I, I, I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> But no, seriously, in, in all seriousness, that did give me... I did get some tears at that. Just because, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know I am a dad, so I, like... You know, it probably hits me different than most of you who are watching this. You know, I mean, maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe there are parents amongst my viewers. I don't know. But man, that was a ride. I was worried that Fontaine was going to be 
a lot tougher than he actually was. Oh my gosh. <sighs> God. Man, this was a this is a great game and and I know it's going to clock in at 20 some episodes. Close to 30 maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't feel like it was that long. But you know what? It feels like it was just right. Because there's something to be said about, like, a, a, a well-crafted experience, you know? And this was a well-crafted experience, I feel like, very much. It's like, yeah, you didn't necessarily have the freedom to... Well, you did. You could take the bathysphere and you could backtrack. Um, there wasn't a whole heck of a lot of reason to do that unless you just wanted to explore, I suppose. But yeah. Gosh. Man, what a game. What a game. And I have to say, when I played it when it first came out, the way it looks now is the way it looked in my mind at that time. But, so, you know, just just goes to show art direction is a big deal and is big and is important. You know, it's cool to be able to run the game at 60 frames with a little, with, you know, some polished up textures and whatnot. But it's basically, my understanding is, it's essentially the same game, it's the same engine, all of it. It's just, it's, it's literally just remastered. Uh, maybe they added the director's commentary, possibly. Oh, by the way, right there, Armin Shimmerman. Uh, he was the voice of Andrew Ryan. You probably, um, my Star Trek fans who are watching, my Star my Trek fam, uh, you'll probably, you'll definitely know that name. He portrayed Quark on Deep Space Nine. One of the, you know, that's that's who everyone knows him from. And so, you know, you listen to Andrew Ryan, you listen to Quark, you're like, wow, that's really different. But they, um, yeah, they just changed up his, they must have just used something to edit it, the pitch of his voice or something. But yeah, I saw something like an interview in there where they, he was talking about it. And he's like, yeah, that was all me. They just altered my voice a little bit, but all the acting, that was me. And that's, that's heckin' impressive to me. And I've got to say, every every Star Trek fan, we love seeing the actors that we know and love in other medium, in other mediums. Even if they're like Jeffrey Combs, who has played like a hundred characters in Star Trek itself, it's, it's, you love to see it. It's just something that, you know, pleases you and makes you happy. Pretty consistently. So... Yeah, final thoughts on this game. I feel like it still holds up. All these years later, fresh coat of, coat of paint or not, I feel like it's still a great game. It's still a great story. Uh, it's still a great experience. And, and yeah, I mean, it takes me back, but it still is... I feel like with the remaster, it's it's got the fresh coat of paint will help bring in new people who wouldn't consider playing an older game, typically. I mean, unless you... I mean, even if you know the retro community, like I do, they are... Bioshock is not something they would probably consider retro, necessarily. It's like, retro is, for, for most people, like, PlayStation 1 era and back. I mean, it's debatable. But the uh, point being... I don't think most people would consider this retro, so it's kind of in that limbo state without having a remaster. But yeah, just just amazing game, as good as I remember it, if not better. Because wow, and uh, I'm not doing it now as my next project, but I at some point just because this has kind of like rekindled my interest, at some point. In the, it's in the rotation. I will get to do, get around to doing Bioshock 2, which I've never played. 
but that um, that same friend who gave me the tip about breaking the first uh, the first aid stations to get first aid kits, uh, she's a big fan of Bioshock too. So I'm gonna give it a go, and eventually might do Infinite as well. So this is um, this has been Bioshock Remastered. I'm Captain Mintbeard, and what a ride! I appreciate each and every one of you who watches. Thank you so much and peace out.